Hey guys, it's V. So I got another new product that I want to try out for you guys and I'm filming more than one video today so you're gonna see this face, exact face, in another video after this one. Yeah, it's most likely gonna be after. I think I'm gonna put this one up first. So I got a new product to test out for you guys and I'm gonna do a lasting impression on it because I am just that interested in it and seeing if it really does what it says that it's gonna do that was my air conditioning if you heard that squeak back there um yeah so i have a new product to test out for you guys and it is the it cosmetics bye bye pores pressed version so every time i would go into ulta and i would scroll through the it cosmetics aisle i would always try the it cosmetics bye bye pores loose version i would put it on my hand i would be amazed by how it felt and i just never bought it because number one it was a little bit pricey and number two because i just am not a fan of loose powders i use one loose powder and that's the ben nye powder to set my under eyes and that's it i'm really not a big fan of loose powders i don't like to use pigments none of that shiz so when it cosmetics said they were releasing the press version of that magical feeling powder, I wanted to hop right on that bandwagon, so I went ahead and I purchased it. And I got it off of their website because I called around to a few stores after looking on their website and seeing that those exact stores had it in stock. And one store told me that it was only available on QVC and that it would be released in the next month. Another store told me that it would be released on Sunday when I was calling on a Friday. And I know they get their shipments on Thursdays because I'm a little crazy. So I know they had it. They just <laughs> weren't releasing it yet, I guess. But the fact that I got two different answers I was just kind of peeved about that a little bit so I just decided to go ahead and order it online because there was some other things online I wanted to purchase that were not in store so I was just like whatever I'm just gonna purchase it online so it was $29 on the website and I'm just gonna take it out of its packaging here this is how it looks it's got a nice matte you know soft feeling front and it says bye bye press this is a translucent powder so there shouldn't be any color to it and this is how the inside looks it's a little bit yellowy looking it's got one of those plasticky films on it and then you lift this up and you've got a little sponge on the bottom part there so kind of a little bit big packaging for a compact. Um, not really something that I can just throw in my makeup bag as easily, you know, because I've already got a lot of other shit in there. But yeah, so this was $29 only sold at Ulta, all that jazz. So I just, ooh, the sponge in this is really soft. I wasn't expecting such a soft sponge. I guess because I've only really used drugstore sponges and this one is just nice. So. I thought that I would do a lasting impression on this product for you guys and first impression it and we'll see how I like it and if it's worth $29 or if it's worth returning. Like a drugstore thing, I'll be like, oh, whatever. I only spent like eight bucks on it, but this was $29. So if it's not good, I'm returning it. <laughs> so we are just going to test this out today and see how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in here so we can take a good long look at my face and my pores because that's the claim of this product is that it's gonna say bye bye to your pores so let me go ahead and read the back of the packaging here while you guys are close up on my face i didn't really think to do that beforehand um bye bye pores pressed airbrush silk pressed anti-aging finishing powder with anti-aging peptides collagen silk and antioxidants plus optical blurring drops of light technology it makes your pores disappear powder is completely buildable and can be applied throughout the day for on the go touch-ups wonderfully doubles as a blotting powder too to use swirl your favorite it cosmetics heavenly luxe brush into the compact wait so you gave me this little sponge but i'm supposed to use an it cosmetics brush well i don't have an it cosmetics brush i'm sorry because they're really expensive <laughs> um into the compact and tap brush gently on the lid to remove excess powder. Softly buff onto skin in circular motions for a smooth, flawless, soft focus, skin perfecting finish can be worn on bare skin or over makeup for a finishing touch. 
like I said, I don't have a It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe brush because it didn't come with this product. So it came with a sponge and that's what I'm going to use. So I'm just going to do a little swatch of the product here for you guys up close. Whoa, that was, it like dropped powder and look at that, that's kind of super powdery. So I'm just going to swatch a little bit on my hand here. You guys can't really see too much, but that's, that's what I'm doing. That's where I put it. <laughs> you can see the powder remnants. But uh, yeah, it kind of kicked up quite a little bit of dust there. I don't know if you guys can see that too well with my camera, but all right. So I'm just going to take this, put it in here. I don't really know how much. It says buildable, so I can't do too much, right? So this is my face before. You guys can obviously see I've got some pores here, definitely pores on my nose. Um, I think that's really all the only place I'm going to put it at because I just don't really put it anywhere else. I'm just going to do my T-zone area. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on my face. Wow, look at that. <laughs> it says translucent, but uh, that definitely showed up on there. So I'm just pressing it into my skin, hoping for that nice airbrushed finish. Okay, so that is after applying this all over my face. Well, all over my T-zone area. you guys but I really don't see a difference like at all um, I saw it initially when all of that powder was all over my nose like I looked like a crack whore but um, yeah I don't really see anything different about this right now so I guess we'll see if it kind of like controls oils throughout the day but I really like don't see very much difference in this at all right now so i'm gonna zoom you guys back out so i'm just going to uh keep this on throughout the day we'll see if at any point i start to get oily or anything like that and yeah so it is 12 57 right now in the afternoon and yeah 12 58 actually just turned don't want to lie to you guys um, yeah, so we're just going to see how this goes throughout the day and if I need to blot, anything like that. So I will be back in a couple of hours. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Hello. So it is about 4.30 in the afternoon and my lipstick is not holding up as well as I, you know, thought it was going to, but we're, uh, we just got done at Taco Bell, as you guys saw, and yeah, so I thought I would check up on this Bye Bye Pores powder and uh, see what we're working with here. I noticed before we left that I was getting kind of oily, as you guys can probably see looking a little bit cakey also this says that it is a perfect blotting powder as well so i'm just gonna get it out here and get the little sponge with one hand not the easiest thing go go <laughs> made it that dumbass ladies decided to block my entire exit dumbass ladies man all right so i've got some more product on my sponge here just gonna blot. I have more product. I, I said that. Like, I'm not just like blotting it with the. So it's been three and a half hours, about, and I'm feeling the need to blot. Well, it did help me look less oily, so that's good I guess um, but in terms of no pores I can still plainly see my pores so 
that part not exactly true but uh we'll check in with you guys a little bit later like i said earlier trying to fit this in my makeup bag is a struggle man do look at this <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All right, got it. Did you lock yourself in the coat closet? She's just always locked in there when we haven't opened. We didn't see her. You locked yourself in there? Do you want me to get you out? Can you see her? Mm hmm <laughs> How was that in there? How was it? And so we're back. A whole seven hours later and it is 7.56 as whoa goodbye it is 7.56 right now and so yeah it's been seven hours since I put this on right one two three four five six seven I don't know why I needed to count that on my fingers that's one to seven Anyways, um, let's go ahead and zoom in on my face so you guys can see how it looks after that little blotting I did earlier today. So to me, it... My nose and cheeks still look a little bit kind of oily, like especially like right here. I can see that my nose looks oily. Um, I'm just gonna do it one more time to see how it looked. I was watching the footage that I filmed earlier and it actually did mattify quite a bit. I noticed as I was watching the footage, I couldn't really see it as much in person, which kind of is a bummer because that's the whole point is that your makeup is for in person, not on photos. But I'm just gonna do it one more time. There goes my AC again. Yeah, I just, I mean, I, I think this is kind of gimmicky. I know it's a translucent powder, but it says that it is supposed to, what does it say? I don't know, for something that says bye bye pores, it really doesn't do anything to my pores. It just kind of mattifies my skin for like an hour or two, and then it looks pretty much the same as it did. If I would have never put it on in the first place, so I'm gonna zoom you guys back out a little bit more so we're not just like right in my face the entire end of this video. But yeah, so um, I don't really think that this product is worth $29. I don't really see the magic in this product. So I don't know, I guess that this, this lasting impression doesn't really uh, get a good review from me, unfortunately, but um, I love it, Cosmetics as a company, I still really want to try a lot of their products, but yeah, this one just wasn't thrilling to me at all, I don't know, I don't know, maybe the loose one is a lot better, because honestly, this one feels a lot different on my skin than the loose one did, like the loose one had a much more slippy feel that's the only way I can think of to describe it but that one had a much more slippy feel than this one this one just kind of feels like any translucent powder honestly like it it doesn't really feel different than anything else to me so yeah that is everything if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below and if you like this video be sure to show some love to that like button down there if you subscribe you can be one of my gypsies and every single one of you counts thank you guys so much for watching and i will see y'all in my next video bye